The other day, our three-year-old found a £10 note on the street, which means that Alfie can now no longer even claim to be the family's secondary financial contributor. <laughs> He's the bread loser, laptop loser, key loser, bag loser, loser. <laughs> I, I want to get back with Jesse. I really do, because I'm so bored of fucking people I respect enough to care how well I'm going down on them. <laughs> Throughout our relationship, Alfie hid how much he drank. But the great thing about being broken up is that now we have this new level of honesty. He tells me how much he drinks. I tell him how big my new boyfriend's dick is. Yeah. It's amazing that even though he's been alive for seven less years than you, his dick has managed to grow at least two inches longer. <laughs> That's a dick with a get up and go attitude. <laughs> Such a shame your dick has the same work ethic as you. It's amazing how motivated my dick is in other people's pussies. <laughs> <laughs> Jessie's mood fluctuates almost as much as her weight. So when you see her naked, it's difficult to tell whether you're looking at a stretch mark or a self-harm scar. I want my iPhone charger back. <laughs> Alfie is a massive, massive football fan. He's more committed to Liverpool Football Club than he is to his own family. He'll give up his time, he'll lie so he can watch games. Liverpool Football Club don't know your name. Your kids know your name. Well, I remind them just before you arrive so your feelings don't get hurt. <laughs> and when you're away, I show them a photo of Anita Dobson so they know what you look like. 